This is the cylindrical capacitor. The cylindrical capacitor consists of two cylinders, one inside another, and the dielectric media between cylinders. You can see the dimensions on the screen. If we neglect the fringe effects, we can calculate the capacitance analytically. Now let's simulate the cylindrical capacitor with quick field. There are two ways to simulate cylindrical capacitor. The first one we can simulate is it as axisymmetric problem. And then we will simulate it as three-dimensional problem and compare the results. So this is my axisymmetric electrostatic problem. Axisymmetric means that there is the axis of rotation. Axis of rotation is a horizontal one. Here I have the air, the dielectric media inside the capacitor. We have the conducting place, negative and positive, with the voltage applied. This is two-dimensional problem. Let's take a look at the simulation result. Uh, this is the field lines and my task is to calculate the capacitance. So I select one of the conductors. And we'll calculate the electric charge and the electric field energy. So I utilize both approaches here. I will calculate the capacitance, the charge, and the electric field energy. Now you can see the calculated capacitance value. 2.49 or 2.488. You can see this is a bit larger value than the theoretical result because we take into account the phase effects. Now let's run this same simulation as three-dimensional one. This is my three-dimensional 3D extrusion electrostatic problem. This is the geometry model. This is the top view on my cylindrical capacitor. So this is the air inside, this is the air outside. This is the dielectric media, and this would be positive and negative conductors. Again, to get the three-dimensional problem, I assign heights to each object. And the three-dimensional model is created through extrusion from the plane sketch. Let's take a look at the three-dimensional view. 
this is the three dimensional model. We have the air. And we have the dielectric media and negative and positive conductors. Let's take a look at the simulation result. This is the electric potential distribution. Let's hide some blocks to see what we have inside. This is electric potential distribution in our capacitor and around the cylindrical capacitor. And my task is to calculate the capacitance. I will use the energy approach I will select all objects and calculate the full energy. The same value. We got with two dimensional simulation.